All right, how to sing in a sort of rough voice, not fully projected into a scream, but getting some grit in your voice. Um, Y'all know the drill, you know the disclaimers. I'm not a vocal coach, I'm learning along with you. This is something that's worked to help me. Um, and if it doesn't help you, feel free to leave it behind. Uh, in addition, it helps going into this to know at least a little bit about mixed voice and a little bit about fry. Um, those are bases that I'm not going to cover. This is a pretty specific video. I do have video on fry screaming, and I think the mixed voice one is out by now as well. So if you want to check out that or come at it from a different source, knowing something about fry, knowing something about mixed voice. Okay, so uh, it's going to be short and sweet. What you're going to want to do is you're going to sing a somewhat high but still comfortable chest melody. You're going to get it down pretty well, right? So for me, I'm using I'm using this one. I'm going. It tastes so sweetly hollow. It tastes so sweetly hollow. Pick something like up in that range where you can hit every note in it in falsetto and you can hit every note in it in chest. And I'll explain why that's important later. But for now, pick something, get that phrase down reasonably well. Where you're hitting it in your chest, you're not thinking about it too much. It tastes so sweetly hollow. And you can hit it in falsetto as well. Then what you're going to do is you're going to make it really ugly after you've just worked really hard to make it really pretty. Um, and you're going to put a sort of mix in there. Uh, but not a pretty mix. You're not going to focus on tone or anything like that. You're just going to let the falsetto blend in with the chest voice. You're going to accept the voice cracks. I would say even encourage the voice cracks to a degree. So you take that, you hit it in just falsetto. It is so sweet, hollow. It is so sweet, hollow. You're going to blend that with your chest and make some make a nasty sounding version of it where you're using your chest and your falsetto. It tastes so sweetly hollow. It tastes so sweetly hollow. It tastes so sweetly hollow. Where you're using both at the same time. Again, we're not worried about tone right now because your tone's going to be way different once you add in the distortion anyway. So better to add in the distortion and then focus on tone. And what you're going to do is, if you've seen the, the Fry video, this will help, but you're imagining your voice like, like an ice cube, right? When it's fully frozen, that's your chest voice. When it's fully melted, that's your falsetto. You're singing with a sort of melty ice cube, right? Where the core is still there, but you're adding in a lot of falsetto. That's how you're going to get your grit. It tastes so sweetly hollow. Right? Those voice cracks right there, just to check in that you are going between your registers. You could do it without it. It tastes so sweetly hollow. But I would accept the voice cracks. Um, just because you don't want to be focusing on tightening things up just yet. Now, what you're going to do when you're visualizing that is you're going to mix that falsetto with the fry and make some sort of droning fry sound over the words, right? It tastes so sweetly hollow. You're going to add in the fry to your falsetto. You're not going to worry about whether it's loud just yet. And what that's going to do, you want to get really comfortable with that ugly sounding version of the phrase that you're singing. Because you want to have your chest providing the power, providing the direction and keeping you on on tone and you want to let your falsetto be there to mix with fry to give you that harshness and then you want to combine them together it tastes so sweetly hollow just chest it tastes so sweet just falsetto it tastes so sweetly hollow that mix of both where you're phasing in and out right Fry mixing with the falsetto. Now you're going to do the fry mixed with the falsetto, and that's the falsetto that you're going to be introducing when you combine them. And it's going to start sounding more aggressive, more bitey. 
Let's say so sweetly yellow. And you're going to have that thick note that you started to hear start to take shape at the end. Let's say so sweetly yellow. And you're going to combine. Now, you can fake that noise, and I want you to avoid faking that by just pushing. You can. Um, and that's going to hurt like mad. You don't want to take that shortcut. You want to really focus on all the different parts because adding more scream to your sound should just feel like introducing more falsetto because you've mixed the falsetto with fry. Adding more voice to the sound should feel like just adding more chest. And that's why when you're singing with grit, it's also important to be aware of your range. It would be nice to go out and just like, you know, sing David Draymond or, or Breaking Benjamin, you know, low and rough and stuff like that. But if you're not able to hit the lowest note that you're going for in falsetto, you're not going to be able to introduce that fry scream sound, at least not with this method. Um, and if you're not able to hit the highest note in your phrase in chest voice, it's going to be a pure voiceless fry scream uh, because you're only hitting it with falsetto and you don't have any of that chest support to guide the tone. So you have to pick phrases that are within your range where you can hit all the notes in chest, all the notes in falsetto, and then add that sort of ugly mix that we had going on um, where you can have that chesty tone with the harsh overtones over it. Um, and if you want to expand your range and do, do songs that are lower or higher, that's fine, but you got to work with your clean voice to where you can hit those higher notes or you can lower your falsetto to those lower notes to get low notes.